So what you do is you take a preference ballot. So take a preference ballot and use it to simulate a number of different head-to-head -head contests. And how many different head-to-head -head contests? Well, all possible head-to-head -head contests. So you can, and you can do that based off of the preference ballot. You can essentially just one at a time erase all but two candidates and see which candidate wins off of that. But it's a simulation, right? Because that didn't actually happen. That's just built off of the preference ballot as if what would happen if you gave person someone a ballot with only two people in it. Okay, so simulate all possible head-to-head -head or two-person elections. All right, and then, well, the real question is, how do we determine the winner? And the winner is the person who wins the most head-to-head -head matches. So the winner is who wins the most head-to-head -head, uh, simulations. Great. And then there's a definition built into this and that definition is something called the Condorcet candidate. And the Condorcet candidate is a candidate who wins all possible head-to-head -head contests. So there isn't always a Condorcet candidate, but sometimes there is, and we have a name for it. Okay, so the Condorcet candidate wins all of their matches. Let's just say matches. And I say all of their matches because they clearly can't win the ones that they're not in, right? So when you come up with all of these head-to-head -head matches, well, they only include two people, so they're going to leave out a bunch of people.